Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's video. So today I am launching the National Friendship Days Vlog Hop. So it's me and some friends from the Craft Stash family. Um, so we have Lou Collins, Sheena, Sam Calcott and Christina Griffiths. So we're all releasing our videos today and all the links will be, will be down below. And there's also going to be a competition as well. So that is going to be all in the description box and I will talk about that later so today I'm going to be making some lovely B cards so you may have seen these already I'm just going to quickly show you how to pop these together I'm absolutely loving this B stamp you can use this on home decor there's so many different things that you can do with this B stamp it's, I, just, I just love a B stamp so I'll pop a photo just here on some lovely coasters that I've made and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these lovely cards so a quick look at the um, supplies so we have here the Bee Garden journal stamp set this is their the bee that I'm going to be using today and probably some sentiments here too and again perfect for mini albums cards and also if you're into your travelers notebooks and things like that it's going to be perfect for those too and this is actually a duo set so it comes with the dies to cut out these images so I have that here there we go this is my sample sheet of how it all looks once it's been stamped and die cut as well so if you can imagine trying to fussy cut that bee out and trying to make it look all even and perfect this die is going to do that for you and again these um, lines here for your journaling lines you can these are separate from this grid here so you can literally just have fun with that sort of freestyle and then I'm going to be teaming it with the small honeycomb die set that is what I've used here for these backgrounds here and you also get some sentiments and some lovely flowers that you can layer up as well so I do have that um, sample sheet here as well here it is that's this actually looks quite small in this little packet but I've managed to fill this whole A4 sheet of card here with everything so we've got the honeycomb hexagon um, background here and then we have a more subtle look there um, not subtle um, kind of like freestyle I guess it's not perfectly uniform like this one it's lovely and then we have another B here that you can get creative with and these lovely sentiments here which are actually larger than what you think they are from this packaging okay so let's jump straight in okay so let's make our card bases first I would like to do two versions of this one so I can kind of mix and match these negative pieces that come out so I can pop them into this one so I want to be making this card today but I will have enough to make this card here as well okay so I have here two pieces of card so I have a white one here and a black one both measuring the same size so these are going to be measuring eight inches by six and a quarter and you can make custom made envelopes if you have the we are memory keepers envelope board which I will pop down in the description as well so in the um, this position in landscape with the eight across the top we're just going to make one quick score line so we're gonna pop this in and do it at four inches same for this one as well there we go Let's fold those over using your bone folder is really going to press that down nicely okay right so let's do some die cutting now so the card bases are done and move over to the small honeycomb die set so there's quite a lot in here it's really packed full of dies now this was a release um, with the small album the small album has sold out but the portrait album is still available and it's exactly the same size and this fits on the page exactly but today it's going to be a card so I'm going to be cutting this twice I've got my bits already prepared okay so I have some gold glitter cardstock here and a black piece as well so let's run those through okay I'm going to be using my go power and emboss and I also have here my standard big shot magnetic platform and plates 
this fits through that perfectly. It will, if you have the switch, it will fit through that as well. So I'm going to run through the black piece and then the, the gold glitter one. Isn't that so satisfying when it all just comes out like that? So I am actually going to keep these because I can use these for further projects down the line as I make projects using this die. So that's all come out. And here's a quick tip actually, I've noticed my board has raised in the center. Can you see that, the way that pushes in just in the center? That means I need to turn that over, okay? And that is the key to keeping your plates as straight as possible. Okay, so these are a little bit harder to release because on top of this glitter card, there's a little slight plastic film. That makes it non-shed, which is great, but it does make it a little bit harder to release your dies. So if you do have a manual or if you can have or you do have a reverse button before the end piece comes out at the end, reverse it through again. And that really does help cut the um, that little plastic film on the top. There we go. Now we have two here ready to go. Okay, so I am going to be assembling these cards as we go along so you get that instant sort of um, project as it goes along instead of doing everything and then assembling at the end. So the next thing I need to do is I need to, just need to grab my brush, here we go, I've got a brush here, and some vintage photograph from Tim Holtz. Okay, we've just got a little map here. I believe this is from the Creative Range at Craft Stash. If I find it, I will link it. I've just got a brush here and vintage photo distress ink. So actually I need to get my hands on the Distress Oxide version of this. But I'm just going to do this very lightly, just going over. And I have used a linen cardstock here. You may see some, oh that's very bright, you may see some sort of texture there. But I'm just going over just a few sections. I am leaving a lot of white sections as well, so I'm not overly doing this. There we go, so it's quite patchy that's the look I'm going for. So put that back in here. I will get this out again later because we're going to do some more inking. Okay so let's get this popped down now. So grab yourself some glue. I love these little bottles. I have cosmic shimmer in there. Gosh my screen is so bright. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, yeah, that is a little better. The, as we get to the afternoon, the sun does does move around the room, so the morning is the best time for me to film lighting-wise. Okay, so it's been a while since I've used this glue, actually, because I've been using the big bottle, so it is having a bit of a hard time coming out, but it is going through. It is quite warm in here as well, so I'm going to have to be quick before this glue starts to dry. That's the only problem with adding really thin bits of glue is that it dries super fast. Okay, let's just put that down, be quick about it. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly do the same for this one. Okay, that is down. I think I've got that bit wonky. Let's try and straighten that out. A bit of glue has come out the sides, but the great thing about Cosmic Shimmer is that it, it does dry clear. So that is a good bonus point there. And I will link these bottles. Even if they're out of stock, um, I'm gonna link everything that I'm using today just because in the future they will come back in stock. And you might be watching this a year from now from me actually posting this. Okay, so those are two card fronts now ready to go. Now we're going to be moving on to the B. Let's get our B done. So grab yourself some white paper. This might be 
really really bright i've got some versafine ink just here i love that stuff okay so i've just grabbed out my stamping platform i actually really like this one i do have lots of other types but i really do like this one just like the way it has this the springy bit on there it's fabulous okay so you do get uh, uh i think it's just two magnets i think it's just two anyways i digress so let's get stamping so I'll pull this out okay so i am going to stamp this out two times and first one's going to be from oops something just fell there <laughs> there's a landslide everywhere in my room okay so i'm going to be using the watermark stamp pad from the first mark for the first one then i'll be moving down and stamping just ordinary black with the versafine so i'm just going to use an anti-static powder this is going to stop all the um embossing powder from hitting the wrong places and sticking to the wrong places this is a super sticky pad as well Okay, apologies if my ring light is getting in the way. Okay, press that down. Okay, so I do have a few marks there from where I've inked it before. Now I do have to be quick here, I should have got this prepared. This is the tidy tray from Craft Stash. Now these do come out. And I'm going to be using this to collect my embossing powder. Now you can use a folded piece of paper. Um, and I'm not too worried about that drying actually because I can just re-stamp that. There's no quick release on this. So this is the embossing powder in rose gold. This is from Ranger. Now I have had this before but I lost it so... I bought another one. I do take things on my travels and sometimes not everything makes its way back with me so some things just go. Okay, tap that off, there we go, that anti-static powder has done really well. Okay and all I simply have to do now is just take off this little bit here and then I can just tap that back in there I'll get most of it off and then I can just wipe it down I should probably treat this with anti-static powder as well and that will make all of the the powder go back in okay so I'm just going to heat this up I'm going to heat this for about 30 seconds just heating up and that will speed through heating up the embossing powder and it will also prevent so much warping as well on the card stand I don't want that to burn anything or like put that down to cool down and there we have a lovely heat embossed bee and that's a lovely rose gold shade okay so now I'm just going to do the other side now with black ink with that first impression if not I could have gone in again because everything is in exactly the same place right let me clean everything up and then we can die cut these images out okay so I've just popped out the die set that goes with the stamp set comes as a duo and this is the B stamp here we have the rectangular stamp there for the believe and the hello is very obvious that that goes with the hello so off camera I've just done the sentiments and I've done the believe out of the rose gold embossing powder too and the lovely mr g's just made me a cup of tea and if you're thinking that's a bit pale i do sometimes get comments about about that 
about pale tea. It's Earl Grey, it's a pale tea. That's just how I like it. Okay, so these are the dies that I need. Right, so I'm going to be using my magnetic platform. I love this one. This is why I absolutely love this one, because then I can just get these in the right place. Oh, I've got a cat hair there. There we go. If you enjoyed my chicken photos that I shared in July, give me a thumbs up, because I do want to feature them and my pets more often in my films. So... Let me know if you enjoyed that little snippet into my family life. And I shall be sure to do some more bits and bobs like that. This one's this one wants to move because my paper did warp a little bit, so I'm just going to use a bit of tape there. Right, let's get this through first. I'm not going to put everything down together because well, that's just a disaster waiting to happen, that is. So I'm going to be just grabbing over, now these appeared in my last craft haul, I'm looking for, these are Arteza water brush pens, bumblebee yellow, and there was a grey as well, so I have this in a Pampered Chef, if you remember Pampered Chef, um, they, they left the UK a good few numbers of years ago, but I was a huge fan and I had a lot of their things, and I still do. I love Pampered Chef. I'm going to use Ice Blue for the um, the wings. So, um, I'll link these pens. I love them. I absolutely love them. I had the smaller box and um, I had to get the, the bigger box so I could get all of the colours. So, I'm not even going to use this with water. It does come with a brush pen water brush pen but I'm just going to quickly just add my yellow on there again you can use coloured pencil as well coloured pencil will be perfectly fine for this I'm just going to be just adding my yellow there this is super easy and then I'm just going to add this grey sort of it's got a little bit of a, tin, a blue tinge to it but it's not um, a very dark colour. It's quite subtle and it's just perfect for the wings. If you have a pen that does iridescent stuff as well, like a Wink of Stella or something like that, that would be perfect for these wings as well. Okay, so that is my B done. Just the two colours. Let's pop that back. If you have any favourite pens that you love to use, other than like general alcohol pens or things like that, let me know in the comments. I'm always on the hunt and the lookout for lovely new things. Okay, so now we have our B, we have our hello. So let's do a bit of inking now. Back to the vintage photo. And I'm just going to ink up the sides of this. So you can get a mat down or you can hold your project and just, just do this. Depends how tidy you are, I guess, whether you want ink on your hands. Get messy, as get, get as messy as you like. There we go. Let's just do a bit of inking on this. And I'm going to leave the embossed one crisp and white around the edges. 
So we're going for two different complete looks here. There we go. Right, time to assemble. Let's start off with this one first. So we have here some um, spare bits and bobs from the other frame that we've just die cut out. So I'm just going to pop these in. Just, just have an experiment, see how you like them, see where they can go. I'm going to pop that there as well because I know my B is going to be in the centre so that's going to be covered. And I need one more. Um, should we go for the little corner one? Where's my little corner? Do I have a corner? Where did it go? I do have a corner. Here it is. We will pop that in. Which now that's for that one. Just find the right corner. They are different shapes. That's a long one. Ah, where is it? I think it could be this one. Yes, it is. So you can actually raise these up on foam pads if you want, but I'm just going to keep them flat. I'm just going to go for the big bottle this time. And I do have a pickup pencil somewhere. Here it is. Um, I've got a couple. There we go. So you can just pick things up. These are probably too big to be picking up. But if you have anything smaller, you can pick things up like that. So let's take that out. So this pencil is going to be perfect for sequins and little gems and things. Let's see if we can get that in the right place. There we go. beautiful card so I'm just going to quickly finish off this one's going to be so simple to put together just some foam pads and that one will be done too and then I'll be right back to show you the finished um, projects okay so here are my projects so these are today's ones these are absolutely stunning I love these I can't wait to get some photographs of these ones it's going to make an excellent thumbnail I think and when I share these projects on social media as well so if you're following me on Facebook or if you're not then follow me if you want to you can find me under Head and Griffin UK and I also have a paper crafting with Head and Griffin group as well all those will be linked down below all of the other blog hops from today from Sam Calcott to uh, Sheena uh, Lou Collins and Christina they're all going to be listed down below as well the competition will be listed down below I think Christina will have more information on that at the end you don't have to watch these in order but it's great if you do um, and yeah thank you for inviting me actually to do this blog up I've really enjoyed this one I just love bees I know exactly what I was going to make for this one so everything that I've listed is listed down below and I do have something now to pass to Lou for the next video so I'm going to challenge Lou to make something fantastic with this sunshine die set. Now this was designed to go with um, the medium mini album so you can make your mini album pages. I'll pop a photo here of what you can do with this but I'm going to challenge Lou to do something completely different with this die set. So I'm going to pop this over this way and it's going to magically appear on her desk. 
And if you can hear some screaming, there's some kids in the park playing. So I'm going to take that as a cue to say goodbye to everyone. And I'll see you again in my next video.